Welcome back to the garage. Today, we'll be installing the steering box assembly on our EasyGo RXV by Golf Cart King. Let's grab some tools and get started. These are the parts included in your kit. These are the tools we'll be using today. The first thing that we need to do is remove the front cover. We're going to remove the bolts here and here using a 5 8 socket and 5 8 wrench. So here you can see your factory installed steering box assembly. We're going to go ahead and begin to remove that by first taking out the yoke located right here. So I'm going to grab 8 millimeter Allen key and remove the bolt right here. We will disconnect the yoke from the steering box assembly when we fully disconnect the steering box. Now we're going to go ahead and separate the tie rods from the spindles by first removing the cotter pin at the bottom of the castle nut located right here. To remove the castle nut we're going to go ahead and use an 11 16th socket. Now to separate the tie rod, we're going to go ahead and grab a ball joint splitter, place it underneath like so, and pop up. Repeat this process on the other side. Now we can go ahead and remove the bolts located here, here, and here using a T45 Torx bit. Now we can go ahead and remove the yoke from the steering box assembly. Now you can fully remove the steering box assembly. Now with your factory installed steering box assembly, let's go ahead and count the threads at the end of each tie rod, so that way we can get the same measurements on our new one. So we have a thread count here of nine on each side. So we're gonna make sure to get the same count on our new one. Now that the thread count is accurate on our new steering box assembly, we're going to go ahead and install it. First, we'll hook it up right here using the three bolts that we took out earlier.
Now we're gonna go ahead and attach the tie rod to the spindle, securing it with a castle nut and a cotter pin. Repeat this process on the other side. Now we're going to go ahead and reattach the yoke back onto our steering box assembly. When reattaching the yoke back onto the steering box assembly, make sure that the hole lines up with the groove right here, otherwise the bolt going through it will not secure properly. When placing the bolt through the steering yoke, you want to make sure that it goes through the smooth side first. That way it can securely fasten on the threaded side. With the yoke in place, you can secure it with the bolt we removed earlier. And the final step in our installation is to go ahead and reinstall our front cover. And that completes the installation of our steering box assembly by Golf Cart King. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And for all your golf cart parts and accessories, check out DIYGolfCart.com. And make sure to check out our other videos.